what is going on welcome back to the channel um this video is just gonna be simply an update video as you can tell <coughs> i lost my voice pretty much all this week so filming was pretty much not gonna happen i got sick earlier on in the week so yeah it's kind of been one of them weeks where just i couldn't get out here been feeling like crap so today we're just gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you what we got going on with the projects and where they stand. There's a lot of projects like the 67 we haven't touched on in a while. So today we're just gonna catch up on everything. First off, we're gonna get back on the 58 here. The last video, we made the little wishbone and everything like that. I was starting to kinda get some bag plates and stuff like that made up before the sickness hit. Here's the little top bag cups I made up. And I just realized that the roof is leaking, so I'm gonna have to get up there and get that figured out. But that's gonna be our next line of attack on this build is we need to get our bags in here somewhere. And I'm thinking it's gonna go actually behind the axle now. We'll get that all figured out. And then I haven't showed you guys yet, but there is the new wheels. They're uh, 15 inch by seven inch Supremes. I've been wanting a set of those for a long time, so finally, Got some, I need to get some tires for these, obviously. The 58 is coming right along. And just in case you're brand new here, this is the 58 Apache that they kind of named the Blue Goose, the old farmer that had it before me. That's what he called it, was the Blue Goose and rolled it around. We got a full playlist on this truck. So check that out if you haven't already. So onto the big block 67. We have got this thing pretty close. As you've seen in one of the episodes, if you watched, we got the new belt drive, got the radiator mounted, alternator, got our intake and everything pretty much ready to go. So we need to get some hoses on this thing, get a carburetor on it, then start wiring it up and we need to pop this thing off. That way we can break that camshaft in and then we can move forward on this, brakes, uh, get the rest of the suspension dialed in everything but it's just kind of sitting here right now it's taking the back seat unfortunately to the blue goose so i think we're going to be getting to a point here before long though where the blue goose is going to be kind of at a stagnant point too so plan to jump back over onto this truck i think i'm going to drop the back end on it after we get it running and driving gotta get a drive shaft made exhaust plenty to do on this old truck if you haven't seen this one this is a 67 C10. It's got a big block in it. It's got it's supposed to have a pretty nice little camshaft in it. It's been bored 30 over. It's got some cool old stuff to it. It should be a pretty good little hot rod engine. So I'm excited to pop this one off and hear how it sounds. We'll get back to the 67 soon enough, hopefully. So the last vehicle inside is my 64. It's pretty much just been chilling since the shindig. Still got my buddy in there riding shotgun. So not a whole lot uh going on with this truck sometime this winter after the burnout competition um i kind of messed up my bed here when uh, that guy came apart need to get in here i don't know if i'm just going to put another couple slats in here and fix that up or come in and make some actual steel and do some steel on this not sure yet definitely some stuff that i would like to maybe iron out I would like to get a sway bar on the front of this truck before next year. It just helps with everything because this thing has a lot of body row. I've got a CPP sway bar laying right here that I bought for the truck, but with the drop member, it's just not going to work out, unfortunately. So we'll probably have to end up doing like something kind of custom, maybe like a drag style sway bar, put it on the front with some heim. So, because this has a huge range of motion and that one right there just wasn't gonna work. Also, another thing I'd like to come in and do this year would maybe be doing some inner fenders. I just think that would help make this truck look a lot more finished than what it is, uh, and we're driving it in the rain or anything like that. It won't just be spraying up on the engine and all this. Now, I know I gained a lot of followers when we got the C30 here. It's been doing pretty good. The next big thing I'm gonna be doing to this is I'm gonna pull that bed off and I'm gonna pull both sending units out of the tanks. It's got the TBI electric fuel pumps in it right now, and I'm just gonna go to like a carb style sending unit that have no pump or nothing like that. So that's what we're gonna do. Pull the tanks, 
That way we can finally get rid of that daggone farm tank in the back and actually have a working gas gauge up here. Also, if anybody needs this old floater for like a restoration project or something, hit me up below on the email. Um, I'll make you a heck of a deal on it. I don't really have any use for it, so if it's something you can use, just hit me up and uh, we'll get it headed your way. So I've teased about making the Jeep here a little bit of a rat rod project, which I still plan to do, but it's definitely far on the back burner right now. I think that would be a lot of fun though, just kind of making something really ratty out of that thing, chopping it down and everything. So that's one of the hit list items. Probably not this year, unfortunately. So back here is Hillary, my wife, her 66 GMC. Uh, we did a lot of work on this thing and it is currently just sitting over here in the barn with all of our other stuff. We did a, like, I guess you'd call it a frame off restoration. <laughs> that's a pretty hot topic on one of my shorts on here. People saying that that's definitely not restored, but I think that that frame looks pretty killer. This is a big back window truck. It's a short wheelbase, all factory. And it is, like I said, the GMC. So currently it's got like the new center bolt small block in it. It's got a quadrajet on it with a 700 R4. I have stole parts off this thing more than I know. No plug wires. I mean, I even stole parts out of the transmission whenever we were trying to get my 700 and my 64 going. So we got to get back on this thing. It's a pretty killer truck. It's got that cool yellow patina on it. Got the chrome bumper now and the chrome grill. So, yeah, Hillary uh, definitely would like to see me probably get back on this one. So, that's definitely on the hit list this uh, winter. I'll just let you guys guess in the comments what that is and why the heck I even have that. So, this is my dad's 85 Nissan 720. And I know you're probably thinking that needs to go to scrap. And I just can't allow that to happen i can remember growing up in this truck and uh it's just too cool to let go my big plan is this winter i want to get this thing in the shop and i want to start building it i want to do like a old mini truck build just bagged and body dropped it just the truck means too much just to be like hey scrapping it i know it's really rough right now but if you've been here long enough you know i really don't care about that so I want to get that in the shop and uh, start doing that build so hopefully some of you guys will stick in for a little mini truck in action but yeah it's pretty rough but after we get the blue goose bagged and ready to go then hopefully we can get it out of the shop and the 67 and free up some space for a bigger build like this because it's probably gonna be like a full chassis truck you see in the background over here we got the yellow bed for the yellow truck in there so yeah, we've got plenty to do this winter. It's kind of overwhelming. Um, I do appreciate the heck out of you guys sticking in here with me and hanging out. Um, I know I have not been as present lately, especially this week because I have just felt like crap. So I just appreciate the heck out of you guys liking, subscribing, and sharing content with uh, your friends and family and all that stuff. That means the world to me. And it definitely helps push through on weeks like this, so. Layla's way back there. I'm gonna get a hold of her. We're gonna get back up to the house. I'm gonna drink some more coffee, edit this thing up so you guys can check it out. Hopefully you do, and hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you back here next week so we can get back on that blue goose in there and get that thing bagged. Have a good one and get out and work on something.